Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the NC State Wolfpack and the Clemson Tigers. Number 34 is a player who deserves our attention in this contest tonight. He shows up to compete every night. When his team needs some offense, he's there to provide it. He can shoot it as well as anyone on his team. The Tigers will have a daunting task trying to contain him, Dick. The Tigers are looking at a very tough opponent, Dick. What have they got to do to win? Hey, they've got to do the following things if they want to be successful. First, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Secondly, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. And lastly, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He uses the shot fake. Two. I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. He's got an open look for the shot. Up and inside. Here's the three ball. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Joe's patience waiting for the reset. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the fake. There's a double team waiting there. I say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Inside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He gets the board. Trying to pack it inside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. Pounded the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Inside. Boy, terrible execution on offense. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism, basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. This is what I call home court advantage. This is what it's all about. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Solid work getting back on D. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Fed the low block. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. He brought the ball back down to the floor, and he stripped him. Gave it up in the paint. Steal. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Goes up for two. Makes it. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. On the dribble, gives it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Gordon handles the feed. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Hilton receives the ball. Gave it up. Gaston handles the pass. He launches a three. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. 
receives the pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. And he throws it right away. Great steal. On the dribble, gives it up. The skip pass is picked off. He'll regroup the offense. Look at that student body. They are going mad. You can't forget about them. The winning humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. And he scores despite the hack. Pushing up basketball. High post screen. So effective that screen. He buries the shot. Hey, tell me, we got a replay ready for that one, Brad? Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got a good help side. There's a slam. Pass in the paint. Number 35 with the fake. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby. Out of control. In the paint. Jumps into the defender. Can't get the shot to drop. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tier and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Double team down, that angle. He tries the three. It's good. Look at this last play right here. pass in the paint. Got it. Fakes a jumper. Here's a double team. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Working around the arc. Picks off the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. He draws a foul. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what a motion. What an edge for the home team. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot. Get help from the help side and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He shoots from the top of the circle. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive.
Puts up the shot. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. They move it into the front court. Stolen away. Gave it up. Gets it back out. Pump fakes. He dials long distance. Gets it to fall. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Goes up for two. They still don't score. And off the mark. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. Dick, what are we looking at in terms of home court advantage for this one? I think the home court advantage is such an underrated phenomenon. There are so many factors that are in the home team's favor. Tries to knock down the three. Drains it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. For the bucket. That's good. The game really important here. You want to establish a good tempo. Takes the pass in the paint. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Look out. Defender nailed by a screen. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on a box. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. You're going to be seeing this one all week. Picks off the lazy pass. Working around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. That's been moved. Not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And now they'll bring it up. Unloads a three. You betcha. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. Jumped in front to take it away. Pushes it up with a quarterback pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Unloads. He couldn't get it to fall. Tried to draw some contact. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He's got some room. He attempts the trifecta. NC State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Now they work it around the perimeter. 
There's the trap. It's stolen. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. He goes to the free throw line. Cashed it in. They scored 10 in a row. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Thinks about the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand not too long ago. <laughs> Trying to draw the foul. And he scores it off the glass. Steals a pass. Working it around the perimeter. The fans aren't happy. Nothing to cheer about. The silence says it all. Looking for a good shot. Defense giving some room. He gets that one to fall. On the outside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He puts it in with contact and all. He puts up the tray. He's money with a shot. <laughs> Defensively down on low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. is animated and ready to go. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Nice shot. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city! I'll tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He shoots from right of the circle. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. The quiet crowd says it all, Dick. They are just out of it. They haven't really had much to cheer about. The pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. Roll that one back. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot.
pull-up jumper from way out. Oh, yes. Gave it up in the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Stolen away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Controlling the ball. And they get the turnover. It's a fast break possibility. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Yeah, yeah. Little dipsy dude, Dunkaroo. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. We'll take the shot. It sticks. Wow, can we get slow-mo, please? Missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Up and inside. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Shot clock is dead. Defense extended the old game law. Does that pressure on the ball? On the dribble, gives it up. From right in the circle, he gets it to fall. Gets it off in time. At halftime, the Tigers are behind by 15. We've had a good one so far, Dick. What play stands out for you in the first half? My L.A. Brad has to be the great work in the paint so far. It'll be interesting to see who keeps it up in the next half. Well, let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half. Clemson is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dave. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, Focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Picked out of the air. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. High post flashes for the ball handler. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He shoots from the top of the circle. Turnover City now always really the gate and the offense. Tries for two. Up, easy one. Gave it up. Double team now, that angle. Working it around the perimeter. A high screen. Definitely a foul. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. They will line them up. 
Hits the first shot. the three scorches the net that's worth another look steel go up the other way get a layup looking for contact basket falls despite the contact Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Gordon in the paint. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Up fake. For two. I love the sky hook, especially when they get great post position on the interior. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Drops the bucket despite the harm. He shoots from left of the circle. He gets the bucket. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, laying in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Good job defensively. Gave it up. Looking for the foul. And off the mark. On the outside. Too much. That's a foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunities. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Second call approaching. He really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is great in position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. Accepted. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Oh, I could agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. The Wolf Pack to find a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He takes it away. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Entry pass in the paint. And he scores despite the hack. The Wolfpack lead by 11. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picked off. 
excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Wolfpacks have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Looks at a three. He nails the bucket. McKinley makes a great move to draw the foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He hits his first. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up, puts it up, looking for contact. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipated really well. William pounded on his way up. That layup will count for two, plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball, going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. At the line. He got it. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Shoots. Goes. Look the perimeter. Spacing so important at 15 to 17 feet apart. Fakes the shot. There's the pick. Picks off the pass. Two perfectly executed. He goes with a baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Buried it. Picks off the lazy pass. Up and inside! Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They'll work it around the arc. He intercepts it. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He bombs from outside. Drains the shot. Show me that one again. Now they work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. The Wolfpack are up by 15. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. 
I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Whenever I think of NC State, I think of their iconic coach of the 1980s. Oh, a great man. He was an inspiration to many. Had a great approach to life and how you should live. Truly one of the greats. He fires from long range. He makes the shot. Here's the offensive drop step and the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He fouled him. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. It's two at the charity strike. Top of the key. Way off target. The ball goes out of play. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but the win consistently, you need blocked. Dribble gives it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Gave it up. Tries to get the D to bite. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. On the dribble, gives it up. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Entry pass in the paint for two, and off the mark. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Dump it inside. He pulls the trigger. Tickles the twine. The Tigers are down by 12. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. You bet you. Time to pick up the defense here now. Takes it off him. They get out on the break. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Takes away the pass. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He shoots from the top of the key. 
NC State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. Gave it up. Looks at the three. There was no doubt about that one. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And it's stolen away. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nails the tray. On the outside. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Up and in. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. away. He hits it. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Taken away. Nice job there by the defense. Knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. away with it and back they come the other way this team right now just lighting it up from everywhere hey they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing brad that makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot on the outside top of the circle they work it around the perimeter on the top of the key gets it to go roll it back fellas Three. Oh yes. They work the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Looking for a good shot. He takes the shot. 
He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. On the dribble, gives it up. He strips him clean. Blocks the shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're on a coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Got a nice screen. He shoots from left of the circle. It sticks. They're working around the perimeter. He beats him to the punch defensively and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. Puts it up. Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. The center takes the pass. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have great post play. you got a chance to really to win. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Takes a big time blow setting that pick. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Ten on the shot clock. What a response. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Shot clock is dead. For two. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Clemson loses in a blowout. It seems they came in overconfident and ended up paying the price for it. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.